What's so important about that tower? Oh, son of a bitch. At least he didn't say oh crap. This bit is actually pretty difficult. This, even on normal mode, this bit gives me a bit of trouble a lot of the time. Oh, you got me. Whoa, okay, that was... Died in like two seconds, okay. Again. I'm not getting angry yet, though. I'm yet to get angry. I haven't gotten angry with this game yet. Still feeling nothing. Pretty calm right now. Nice one. Uh, that, that, that kind of got me that death there. That's your and you're gone. Okay, now there's like a bunch of people up here on the ledge. These guys are kind of tricky to get. There's one more guy up there, I'm sure. This, I believe there's three of them. Two of them are dead. I'm sure. I'm, I don't know. I guess maybe not. I know when you go up the stairs, you like trigger three more people to spawn. Like I know, I know most of the like triggers in this game, like how they trigger the next series of enemies. Honestly, does honestly now did anybody actually play through this game using the shotgun most of the time? I really can't buy that weapon, anyone using that weapon. Like, this bit is kind of, tr this bit is really tricky. Like, there's not really any way for you to hide aside, aside from this pillar. Like, if you move to the left, the guys on the other side of the wall can shoot you. But, of course, guys are coming from you from this direction as well. But, thankfully, I was able to take them out in time. Nice. I, I think I handled that pretty well. I died a lot of times when completing this on normal and hard modes. I'm either getting really lucky or I've gone better at the game. Hopefully it's the latter. Sweet. Oh, I don't know where his gun is gone. Maybe it fell over the over the wall. Uh -huh. What's this? And we've got an awkwardly placed quick time event coming up here. Like this game has it's it's weird. It's just this game has quite a few quick time events which are just they feel out of place. Like there's only like three or four quick time events in the whole entire game, not counting the huge amount of spike traps we encountered earlier. But they just feel weird and awkward and out of place because when you do encounter them, because they're so few, it's it's just weird. Oh by the way, this bit sucks. See that ledge? You would think you could jump onto it, but no, you actually have to jump onto this window by here. See. Okay, I want I wanted to ensure that you can't jump onto that ledge, otherwise I would seem like a I I would it wouldn't look too good on me if you could actually jump onto that ledge. But as we, as you could just as you just saw, you can't jump onto the ledge. Basically, what I'm saying is this bit is kind of um, not self-explanatory. Like for the most part, Uncharted holds your hands as you complete the game. It's pretty like uh, self-explanatory. But by here. And, uh, for me at least I would expect to be able to jump onto that ledge but you actually have to jump onto this window ledge so you have to jump diagonally to reach the window that's kind of weird all right so this is the awkwardly placed quick time events they just feel out of place because there's so few in number oh, by here look see him he let go he lets go of the rope here we go okay but by there did you see it? go rewind the video if you didn't if you didn't really catch it but he let go of the rope and like fell to the floor I never understood why he fell onto his side. Like, when he lets go of the rope, he kind of falls to the floor and, like, falls on his side as if he wasn't expecting it. But I don't understand. He willingly let go of the rope. Well done. Now I'm going to have to go up here again. But what I'm saying is, he willingly let go of the rope, yet he still kind of, like, collapsed onto the floor on his side. I never really got that. Uh, that that's kind of like a moment which never really made any sense to me. Like, it's a really tiny, small moment, which is really unimportant, but... Having completed this game a million times, it's something which kind of like ca I caught on to, and I, I never really understood. Like what I'm saying is, when he fell, he should have just landed on his feet because he willingly let go of the rope, so he should have landed on his feet as he obviously would have been anticipating the fall. As opposed to another a different scenario 
in which the rope snaps and he's not expecting the rope to snap so he's not anticipating the land on the floor so as he let go of the rope willingly he would have anticipated the land on his feet do you get what i'm saying to you hopefully i uh hopefully i kind of uh explained that well enough Excuse i hope here we go, another one of these situations where you would have got serious burn on your hands. Like, that's not even a rope, I think it's a cable. Yeah, that would have, oh, it might be a rope, I don't know. That would have burned your hands up big time. Coming up by here is possibly the only moment in the whole entire game where the shotgun would actually be useful. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a nice bit of realism there. Like, what are the odds of him choosing the correct key on the first go? Oh, wait. The, going back to what I just said, the only moment with... The, possibly the only moment where the shotgun is actually useful in the game. It's not It's not this bit. It's coming up a bit later on. I'll point you out when we get to it. This, bit's, this bit is a bit challenging. Grab that rocket launcher. There we go. And then hide back... Then that's my. That, this is my strategy for this part of the game. Just hide back. Of course, you have moments like that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I think I missed. Damn. Yeah, I did. Uh, if, if you miss that shot with this uh, rocket launcher thing, you're pretty much screwed. Might as well kill yourself. I mean, you're not going to kill that guy up there any other way. Unless you throw a grenade. And yes, I do know there's an explosive barrel behind the guy. Uh, on the mounted machine gun. But I've never actually managed to hit it with my normal bullets. So I just I just solely rely on this uh, the rocket launcher. And one thing I don't like is... See that? I just grabbed the rocket launcher, right? When you grab the weapon, Drake kind of throws away the weapon he's currently holding, e.g. the AK-47. And like he kind of carelessly throws it away as he picks up the rocket launcher. What I'm saying is sometimes he throws it away, uh, like in a, he throws it away and he throws it like quite a distance away from him. So you can't pick it up. Like in order for you to pick it up, you have to go out from behind cover to reach it. And of course, when you go up, um, when you come out from behind cover, obviously the enemies can shoot you. See, he kind of, like, the the AK-47 is out of my reach right now, so I have to go out of cover to get it. And thus I am in out of cover for a moment, and the enemies can shoot me. I, I just, that's like uh, one thing about Uncharted again, which I'm not, I don't like. I just, like, Drake should just drop the gun onto the floor normally, as opposed to throwing it a mile away from him. Damn, I hate it when they come up behind. Well, not behind, right in front of me. There we go. Actually, I know, I know, I should have used brutal combat on him, but sometimes when you're not expecting them to come out like that, you're just freaking out and panicking. So you just mass screw. Here we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I killed a fair amount of enemies there as well. Try again. There we go, we didn't drop the AK-47 too far away that time. I also feel as if you should be able to aim without going behind cover if the enemy is like by there, like in your reach without having to luck over cover. Like if an enemy's by there, Drake goes up behind cover and gets and can get shot. But your only option is to blind fire or go like that. Like, you should be able to aim with pinpoint accuracy like you do when you hide, when you look up from behind cover, if the enemy's to your left or right like that. There was one game which did, did do that, I can't remember what it was, but like, you don't, it, it was a game where you didn't, like, come up behind cover if, the, if you were aiming and the enemy was only to your left and right. I can't remember what game it was, but a game did do that. Uh, it might, I'm not sure what it was, it might have been GTA 4, I don't know. Oh, the enemies are killing themselves, I don't even have to do anything. Oh, there we go. I think they were probably throwing them, killing themselves with grenades. There we go. See, that was a moment where a one bullet just drained like 99% of my health. Hate those moments. That's crushing mode for you. 
and he threw the AK-47 too far away. Like, why can't he grab it, by the way, without going behind cover? From behind cover. Oh, that was a headshot, come on. No? Oh, I was hoping I could shoot him in time for you through the grenades. Let's go back here. This AK-47 armor. That's one, that's one thing I think you could do that would work. You could just stay right here and wait for every single enemy to come. And, like, obviously it's easier to shoot them since it's just a narrow doorway. I'm not... I think that would work. I, I don't... Like, just thinking about it, I can't see why it wouldn't work. Like, but the thing is, you would, ha you would have to have the patience to just wait for every single enemy to come up to this doorway. So then you can mow them down. And personally, I do not have the patience. And also, this is a let's play. So I doubt it would be very entertaining to watch me just stay here and camp and wait for them all to arrive. Dead. Yep, okay. This bit's going to be a bit of trouble. I guess hope being going over there would be a good spot to go. I don't see why not. I think there's a West 44 over there as well. In that spot over there. Which, um... The West 44 is the revolver gun. It's like the gun which kills enemies in one shot. Except for the fat guys. I think you've got to shoot the fat guys like twice with the West 44 to kill them. I don't know, I think if you, well, if you shoot them in the head, obviously they die in one shot, but... I, th I think it takes two shots with the West 44 to kill the fat guys. Everyone else dies in one shot, though, I believe. 